Well, my faith story starts when I was very young, eight years old. And I lived, grew up on a farm a few miles on the other side of Holly, right along Highway 10, uh, when it was a two-lane, one-way highway. And it was in the fall of the year. My dad was out plowing. And it was right at dusk as he was, I heard him start coming home from the field. And uh, my mom had gone out to feed the chickens. And anyway, all of a sudden I heard her yell, Daddy, Daddy. Well, my first inclination was that he had run over the dog. But then as I looked towards the highway, I saw all these cars stopping on the highway. And so I knew there had been an accident of some kind. And this voice came to me and said, get down on your knees and pray. And for a couple of seconds, I did. I got down on my knees and said, dear God, please don't let my dad die. And anyway, then I was able to get up and my mom and I ran up to the highway where his tractor and plow was in the ditch in a couple of pieces. And he had been thrown out into the middle of this two lane of highway, of cars that were coming on the highway. And um, we were able to go out there, pick him up, off the highway. He had been hit by the hearse, the Wright's funeral hearse from Moorhead and the panel truck that carries the flowers behind them, behind the hearse, and thrown into the middle of this traffic. We were able to pick him up off the highway. He walked back with us to the house, had a bump on his head and a bump on his knee and was very shook up, of course. We couldn't convince him to go to a doctor or anything at that point. But to me, that seemed like God's miracle, just to show me that there was such a powerful thing as God, and he could answer prayers. Well, I've been a member of this church for 60 years, and as most of you that have known our family through these years, this has not been a total trip of only highs. We've had a lot of lows, but I can tell you firmly that there has not been a path that we have gone through that God hasn't seen us through and has been very faithful to help us to uh, keep the load off our backs. Another thing I want to talk about is how God probably gives us messages from time to time. I taught with a gal whose youngest son was born very intelligent, but with a uh, physical deformity. Well, unfortunately, the fall he was to graduate from high school, he fell out of a tree. I think he was hunting, and his whole senior year, he had to walk on crutches. And if you think about that in our high school, going up and down those steps and carrying your books, this has got to be a very, very hard thing to do. Well, anyway, it was May of that year, I was teaching, working with one of my students, and in my head came this message, you know, that's really something that this kid could make it through high school under those circumstances. So at noon, I went downtown and I found a card, the monkey that does and the monkey that doesn't. Stupid card, but anyway, uh, so I wrote him a note and said, you know, that you have to be very proud of the fact that you have gone through this whole year on crutches in our school and have ended up graduating from high school. I congratulate you very much. And left it in his mom's box to take home to him. Well, the next day, 
I was in my area to teach, and here his mother was crying. And I thought, oh my gosh, what did I do? And she said, Edna May, you won't believe this. She said, but our son was not going to go to the graduation breakfast at church on Sunday. He was not going through the graduation exercises. And when he got this note from you, he said, you bet, I'm going to go Sunday to the church breakfast. I am going through the graduation exercises. And she said, you know, I can't thank you enough. And I said, you know, that wasn't me. That was simply a message I got from God that said, you know, give this boy credit for what he has done. And you know, I wonder how many of those messages I've missed over the years. Thank you.